Year 7 Biology. Welcome. Are you excited for a fun learning session? Make sure you have your book and a pen before we start. Today you are going to learn about the life processes. Life processes. There are seven life processes that we can use to help us decide if something is alive. We use a mnemonic to remember what living things do Mrs. Gren. The M stands for movement. Humans and other animals move from place to place, to look for food or to escape danger or even for fun. Plant movement is more subtle, but plants can turn around so they are facing the sun. The R stands for respiration. During respiration, the body uses gases in the air to release the energy it needs to live. Often this uses oxygen and produces carbon dioxide but in plants it is the opposite way around. The S stands for sensitivity. Sensitivity is when living things are able to detect changes in their surroundings. For example, humans can detect when it is cold outside and they can go and put on a sweater. The G stands for growth. Living things grow. Young living things often start out small before they grow, but even as adults humans grow. They grow new skin cells, repair cuts and hair and nails continue to grow throughout our lives. The R stands for reproduction. Living things reproduce, create living copies of themselves. Plants do this by creating seeds or bulbs, many birds and reptiles lay eggs, whereas mammals have live young. The E stands for excretion. Living things must get rid of waste materials. This is not just peeing and pooping but also includes getting rid of waste gases such as carbon dioxide when we breathe out. The IN stands for nutrition. Nutrition is where living things need to obtain minerals and other substances from their environments to keep them healthy. 